Julie, we are, we lift you up in prayer, and we are, and we're constantly praying and thinking about you. You know, I remember uh, Sister uh, Phyllis in days before she took sick, and you know, she was a person that was full of life. Yes. She was a person that would had spark about her. She was a person that uh, would bring joy into the room. But you know, it comes a time when we all have to meet and go down that road, every one of us. But you know the good thing about it? The good thing about it, if you're going down there, it's good that you already know Christ. Yes. And you're going with Christ. Yes. So if you already know Christ, and you're going with Christ, you know what you can say? Joy comes in the morning. Yes. All right. So family, look up to the hills, which come at your help. With your help coming from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. I know you're going to miss her. I know you'll say, but thank God that she's in a better place. They call it a blessing. We sang the songs of Zion with her, and she sang along. At first, I thought she wasn't talking, but she was actually talking in a whisper, a, a kind and gentle whisper she was talking to us, and sang the songs out with her heart. Now she's with the Lord, and we are here, thankful to who have shared our lives with her. We thank you, God, for her service. Amen, amen, and amen. Amen. Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord. You know, I thank God. I thank God. I see smiling faces because you know where she is. Hallelujah. Amen. My name is Sister Esther Hart. As the deaconess here at St. Thomas Baptist Church, and I give honor to God that He is my help, my everything to me. I just thank him because he woke me up this morning like he woke you up. And he keeps us sound in our right mind. And you know she's precious. Our dear sister Melinda <coughs> Ham, I think about her and the time that we have visited and visit her and I just thank God and the time she gets to the only side of the church. A beautiful person in the Lord. She loved the Lord and the Lord loved her. And that's what it's all about. When we receive Christ in our life, we receive him. And we receive that peace. Which pass it all understanding. So when the Lord take us home, call us on home, which He will one day, hallelujah, like you did her, we're going to rejoice yes. because we made it with Him. Amen. She made it. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. She made it. And I can see those smiling Amen. faces. Thank you know that God is God. Yes. He's real. Yes. Let's give the Lord praise. Yes. Yes. Are precious. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Precious in the Lord's sight. Yes. How powerful is that? Yes. When we leave here, yes. and our breath is gone, our spirit unites with the Lord. Hallelujah. He is, she is resting yes. in peace. Hallelujah. 
with the Lord. So rejoice. Yeah. Be glad. Hallelujah. Because yeah. one day we're going to lift that up. Yeah. We heard yeah. one day too, up in the clouds, no, with the Lord. Hallelujah. So if you don't know the Lord, make this your day. Yeah. Do not leave this building today with a certain purpose that God allows us to come together. Yeah. To meet together as one. As one of them. So if you don't know him, we pray that this day, you will receive him before you leave out of this building. In Jesus' name. Be blessed. Be blessed and praise the Lord. Let's praise him. Give him a praise because he's good. God loves you. God loves you. God loves each and every one of us. And we love him. And we love one another. According to his will in this way, let's praise him. Let's glorify him. Let's magnify his holy righteous name. Be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen, church. Amen. Amen, church. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My name is in, well, I was born in Phyllis, that's right. And we've been on each other for a long time. She's about 18. I'm 68, 68 now. I'll be 69 in the summer. Well, I call her Phil Kim. <laughs> she was my best friend. Oh, well, she was my best friend. So I had to write down what I wanted to say because she always told us no crying for her. All right. Take your time, baby. So really to stay Take your time, honey. I said, up, but I think she's going to come. I'm going to do my best. Yeah, amen. And I guess this means for me, too. <laughs> you are stronger than you know. Sometimes we don't know our power until the time comes to use it. It lies dormant within us and emerges just when we think we can't go on. It does, we find we have much more power and strength than we ever thought possible. So when you feel like giving up, Know in your heart that you, your strength is on its way to the surface. One day you will look back and see just how strong you really were. You are stronger than you feel and much stronger than you know. Amen. 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 One time, uh, she lived with me, and you learned a lot from her because she had a big heart. She always wanted to do something for somebody, and I earned the name Aunt Faye because I loved the whole family. Hi, Tamara. <laughs> <laughs> so I wanted to say something because I, I, she likes to make you laugh. So. At one point, uh, she was taking a nap, and I was out, and I came back, and she was laying on the bed asleep. And some little two-year-old got some nap, and rubbed it all over her mother's legs, up her arms. I'm going to was guilty. All up in her hair, bald spots. But she was showing her mother how she loved her because she decorated her with Nia. <laughs> so Phyllis was a great cook at that. But her heart was always big and I talked to her before she passed. And I saw her early in the year, especially when the baby had a baby and had a baby shower. But it's hard to talk about somebody who you love and they're leaving you. And I'm trying not to cry. Huh? Once we, we moved in the same neighborhood together, and so she had some other friends here um, in the back who was devoted to the friendship of her. And um, 
Phyllis always gave the best that she could to anybody. I don't care what was going on. If she could put her hand in and help her, she would. And so many times, she reached out, we called each other, we talked about all kinds of stuff. We were on the phone for half an hour, I don't know how we found that much to say, but we was talking. And uh, she loved my family just as well. And as a mother, you go through so much, and you devote so much of your life. But you learn a lot about God's gift of how to love someone, and that's how she was. So I want to say this. Tell us we love you no matter where you are. And you'll never be forgotten. And you got a wonderful family. You taught your children how to be good parents. And you got grandchildren. I'm sorry you left us so early. But God knew best. So we pray for all our family members even when they're going through stuff, because we want them to stay here with us, but we don't know what they'd be going through. So God said, this is her time. So we loved her while she was here, and we love her while she's gone. Love you, family, and we still be in touch. So, you know. Amen. You know, it's nothing like people who know you in a very close Phyllis is not here. Amen. Yes, yes. Amen. And it's important for us to understand that Phyllis is not here. What is here is her remains. Phyllis checked out. Okay, so leave that very close to your chest that this is not her. Amen. But one day now, she going to come back and she's going to join up with this. But it's going to be a new thing. Oh, yeah. Come on then. Yeah. When Jesus comes. Yeah. So I, I wanted to say that. And, and also, I never tell anyone who is in the position that you are, who have had the separation of a loved one, not to cry. Amen. Amen. I would never, I've never done that to me. Don't cry. Cry all you want. Amen. Amen. Because man. how can you have an eye plucked out mm -hmm. and arm or leg cut off and don't feel the pain? Amen. Oh, yeah, yeah. Amen. You understand me? Yeah. So grieving is important. Yes, it is, Pastor. So those of you who come here and you know, you say, well, it's my first time here. I don't know how I should act. And you want to cry, go on. And cry. Come on, Pastor. Yeah, I yeah, give yeah. you permission uh, thank you, Pastor. to grieve. Yeah, yeah. But if you know Jesus, like Phyllis knew Jesus, you don't have to grieve like those who don't have any hope. Yeah. Amen. 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 You know, And we often say, you know, I've lost this person. Well, you lose things, you don't know where they are. Right. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. But by the word of God, I know where Phyllis is by her profession of faith. Come on with it. Because I don't have any heaven or hell to put her in. Nobody. But by her profession of faith, Hallelujah. she ain't lost. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I know where she is today. And finally, in terms of a comment uh, to you guys, listen. I believe it was Henry Wordsworth Longfellow who said, Within the heart is enshrined the precious keepsakes. Amen. May I say that again? Amen. This poetic. Within the heart is enshrined the precious keepsake. To me, that means that as long as you keep 
still is that landing hand in your heart, come on, Pastor. She will Never. be ever present Never. living with you. Amen. Come on, Pastor. Number one, you cannot escape her yeah. because the legacy that she left, she touched each and every one of you. Amen. So keep it in your heart, yeah. Oh, Charles, Devorah, Devorah, Charles. When the time gets rough, after your friends check out, go back. Come on with it, Pastor. You're down there in Harvard Grace. And mom no longer there, you can't take care of me the long, Charles. Okay? And the memories start flowing. Mm. It's okay. All to his hand, yes. Which brings me to that final thing. I never tell somebody how long to grieve. No. Because it's different for each of us. But what I do say, don't grieve to the point where it hurts you physically. As well as mentally. And you cannot perform your duties. Yes. Then you need help. Yes. Alright? Yes. So you're going to go on and do what? Grieve when the time has passed, and you know, start thinking about mama. Grieve. Yeah. How many of you have sat where they're sitting? Yeah, 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 yeah. So if you sat there, you know exactly what I'm talking about because I've sat there. Yeah, yeah. Amen. 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 Glory be to God. Now, you know, I I only know what I can share and leave with you besides just those personal. You know, one person to another. But I want to share God's word. Because at the end of the day, it's all about Jesus.